Welcome to the Pro Tips for Biosig ID Users video. This video will teach you some of the tips and tricks that many Biosig ID users have reported as helpful or handy. You can watch all the tips in both sections, either enrollment or validation, simply by clicking on the section name. You can also click on an individual tip to watch a specific one. If a selection is not made by the end of the countdown in the top left, all of the tips will be played in order. Once a tip has begun to play, a link will replace the countdown timer that will take you back to this menu. Enrollment tip number one, change the order. Don't just draw from left to right. Let's take this example of 47TX. We have drawn it from left to right as usual, but let's not. Instead, we will draw the first character and the last character, then draw in the middle two. As the order each one is drawn is important, this makes it harder to crack a password. As you can see, we can easily validate when drawn in the correct order, but we fail when drawn as someone might guess it, from left to right. Enrollment tip number two, go beyond alphanumeric and use any special character you like. In most cases, a user will create a password with your typical numbers and letters, but that is not a requirement. In fact, Biosig ID will allow you to use any special character you wish. In this example, we have created a password using all special characters, but feel free to mix them up. Numbers, letters, special characters, all of them work well with Biosig ID. Enrollment tip number three, be creative. You don't have to draw what you can only see on your keyboard. Take the time to be creative and original. Your password can only get stronger. Just be sure you can remember what you have drawn and try not to get overly complicated as you are the only one who will ever see this. There are no awards for the prettiest drawing. Enrollment tip number four. Break the English barrier and use the language specific characters you want. In this example, we are drawing, or attempting to draw anyway, two Chinese symbols. The one on the left means power, and the word now is represented by the character on the right. As you can see, Biosig ID works well in all languages. Enrollment tip number five. Five or more characters? <laughs> no problem. While the typical Biosig ID user will be satisfied with the four separate grid box to draw in, don't feel you are confined to only four characters. Draw as many as you can. The grid lines here are only a suggestion. In fact, you can completely remove them if you wish, simply by checking the box. Enrollment tip number six, stroke count matters. The number of strokes you use to draw a character can harden a password even further. In this example, we are drawing the same character, the letter M, four times, each with a different number of strokes. The first M is only one stroke, but with a downward base, seen mostly with the lower case. The second M consists of four strokes, all a downward motion. The third M uses one stroke, but starts at the bottom and does not use a base, so the overall stroke length is shorter. The fourth M has two strokes, both drawn like upside down Bs. Validation tip number one. Stack your characters one on top of the other to disguise your password. While order, direction, and speed are all important to your password, the where you draw it is not. Just keep drawing in the same spot and the result will usually look like a squashed spider. Validation tip number two, be invisible. If you feel you are in too public a place and might be overseen, no worries, you can always use invisible ink. Simply tick the box to use invisible ink and draw your password as you normally would. Thank you for watching our Pro Tips for Biosig ID Users video. If you have any tips or tricks that you would like us to include, please let us know. Feel free to watch any of these other videos from Biometric Signature ID.